one of the biggest crypto scammers or i guess alleged scammers is actually might be taken down as the sec is going after him and that is richard hart if you've been involved in crypto or follow it you've probably heard of his name he created the hex coin that people who who buy this and hold this are like his cult following it is insane the things that you'll hear them say they call themselves hexagons and will desperately pay richard hart money because they don't know what else to do they just are hanging on to the hope that richard hart will make them rich but that dream seems to be coming to an end with the sec going after richard hart with uh you can see this tweet they put out here saying you know, today we charged Richard Hart and three unincorporated entities that he controls, Hex, Pulse Chain, and Pulse X, with conducting unregistered offerings of crypto asset securities that raised more than a billion dollars in crypto assets from investors. And honestly, I think that, you know, this is completely right for the SEC to do, go after him. He seemed like a pretty giant grifter, scammer person, alleged one, right? Uh, but... His backstory too, Richard Hart's backstory has a really weird one where I can't find it now because all of the news is talking about the SEC suing him, but he's been like known to do really shady things with companies in the past and how he tried to make money. He says he made a bunch of money from getting in on Bitcoin early, then abandoned Bitcoin for some random reason, created Hex and said it's better than Bitcoin, and here we are today where he's getting sued. The SEC goes into... A little bit more detail, I guess, here with a, a quote saying Hart called on investors to buy crypto asset securities in offerings that he failed to register. He then defrauded those investors by spending some of their crypto assets on exuberant luxury goods. This action seeks to protect the investing public and hold Hart accountable for his actions. And that's exactly what Richard Hart did. He would run these things and then buy all of his luxury things and say, look at me, I'm so successful. Don't you want to be like me? Don't you want to have money like me? Just do what I say and buy my stuff. And then he makes more money doing that so he can spend more money. So, uh, you know, that's all part of the grift is making sure that you look like you're super successful because that's the most important thing on social media. You want to sell something? Make sure that you look successful. You don't have to be successful. Just make sure that you look like you are. And of course, CoffeeZilla, he's commenting on this. He'll probably make a video on this and uh, do a deep dive into Richard Hart, maybe. I'd love to see that. But he talks about, you know, Richard Hart getting sued by the SEC for the misappropriation of millions of dollars of funds. And if you want to see his exuberant luxury goods, you see, he says, surely this guy wouldn't take your money. And you can just see him. A Lamborghini, a Gucci bag, Gucci hat, all, like literally everything designer name brand, like two Lamb or a Lambo and a Ferrari, a G-Wagon. He's always had just all of these exuberant, super insane things and trying to like show himself that he's super successful, tons of money, because that's how he sells you, you the dream. That's how anyone who is on the internet who is trying to sell you something, who is trying to make money off of you, is going to make sure that they look like they are insanely wealthy, insanely happy, and extremely uh, successful. Because that's all they have to do to sell whatever they want to sell, right? So so I, you got to do a little bit more digging. And most of the time, I would say that there's never a reason to pay for information on the internet because you can get information on the internet for free. And maybe it takes a little bit more work to do it, but you can find almost anything. 99.9% .9 of things that you want to learn or have any information about, you can do for free. You don't need to pay someone. And also CoffeeZilla also hints on, you know, what he kind of did with the Paul, I think it was Pulse Chain or Paul Sex, one of those things where he said, you know, instead of uh, investing, you would sacrifice tokens to magically get this other airdrop of tokens so that it wasn't investing and trying to play around with words. But when you do this, it doesn't magically protect you from any charges and fraud charges here. So, you know, Richard Hart, it's just one of those names. If you've if you've been in crypto, you've definitely heard it. If you've looked into him and saw how he talks and how he acts and what he's kind of selling, you can see, man, this guy's uh, a little weird, right? And now the SEC is seeing that too. But if we look at his projects, right, Hex, today he gets sued 
and it's down 26%, over 26%, not doing too hot. If you look at the all-time, you can see what it looks like. Looks like a nice little uh, pump and dump here. I, you could probably see where Richard Hart might have uh, made a bunch of money and been selling this thing to people. And on top of that, he put in a mechanism where if you bought Hex, you could... I don't know if he called it staking at that time, but basically lock it up to earn more hex and then you can't sell it. And there was huge weird issues with that and problems. And it was just so weird. And he always sold this as a better than Bitcoin. This is better than Bitcoin because what happened to most people when Bitcoin was 10 cents? Most people who bought it, they sold it. They sold it when it hit a dollar thinking they made so much money when actually they lost out. So Hex wasn't going to allow you to sell because don't didn't you wish you didn't sell Bitcoin? So it's just one of those selling points. Like it's so crazy. But people who are so desperate to get rich are like, yeah, I wish I never sold. I wish I was able to get Bitcoin in the first place and then hold on to it. This guy's got to know what he's doing, right? He, look, he's got a Lamborghini. So that's what he sold to people. And if we want to look at one of his other projects, Pulse Chain not doing hot today after the lawsuits down over 38%. Over uh, but this one tells a little bit different of a story. You go all time and uh, I mean, it's just a just a downward chart, just a drop of you know, lost dreams and lost money. Just everyone losing here in this one. No, not not even a chance to make any money here. So, uh, but these are his projects. So uh, they're obviously going down. And Richard Hart, if you go to his Twitter, it's kind of interesting what he's doing here, right? So you go to his Twitter. His most recent tweet is, gotta ask you, what's it like getting hacked and exploited all the time? Talking to, I guess, crypto in general? I don't know. He's part of crypto. I don't know, weird. But uh, he tweeted this out just a little bit before the SEC, you know, tweeted this out saying that they charged him. So obviously the responses to this are pretty great. Saying, how does it feel to run a scam project getting sued by the SEC? Got to ask what it's like getting sued for securities fraud. It's just everybody talking about that, which is, it's just kind of great, right? It's just funny to see him tweet this. And then not too long later, the SEC come on and say, yeah, we're actually suing this guy. And you just look, you just look terrible. So Richard Hart. One of the, probably one of the biggest scammer, grifters, alleged scammer, grifter people in the space. And uh, seemingly they're going after him. They're trying to take him down, I guess. But the bigger thing here is the SEC does always say that they're protecting investors. And that's their goal is to protect investors. But you saw with the hex chart and the pulse chain chart that people were able to get in this. People were able to fall for this. And people were able to lose tons of money there's a lot of stories of people losing their life savings on this because for some reason they blindly trusted richard hart which there's errors on both sides right that person shouldn't have invested their money just blindly trusting someone and richard hart was trying to take advantage of people and take their money from them to put it in his own pockets but at the end of the day the sec didn't protect anybody going after richard hart now doesn't protect anybody maybe it gets uh, some sort of justice for someone or stops him from doing it but at the end of the day, no one got protected from this. So the slogan of the SEC being that they're there to protect investors, they, they really don't do that. Maybe one day they will. Maybe they'll figure it out somehow. I don't know how they could even really fix that to protect investors, but uh, without some kind of probably some really insane rules or something. So I don't know how they could actually live up to that slogan. It's kind of putting them at a, a failure off the beginning trying to run that, but that's going to do it for this video. As always, don't forget to smash the button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.